Another iconic favorite of those who watched the anime or played Metarot 2 or 2 Core is the iconic cat type, CAT-01 Pepper Cat, with a kit of stealth, double shock, biped legs, and the spearhead leg ability, which passively buffs the heat and cool stats of equipped parts on the build. Now, Pepper Cat, very already well present through the anime, is known to be a very speedy, uh, very sneaky attacker, more or less, and that is definitely no exception to the case in her in her in-game kit. Stealth is a support-based skill that renders the user untouchable and untargetable uh, through their next cooldown phase and heat-up phase. So basically, their next turn unless they're already being targeted by an incoming attack. The stealth also allows Pepper Cat, or any user in this case that has stealth, to be able to bypass any shields or anyone that's going to intercept a blow that is in play. So guard, guard 500, perfect guard, counter guard, mirror guard, any particular defense-based skill in, in specific that is being planted on the line and currently active. Stealth allows you to bypass that and target exactly who you wanted to go after without anyone getting in your way. Shock is a standard ailment inducing attack that will paralyze the user, that will paralyze the enemy and guarantee that they do not move any further than they are wherever you catch them. Um, the drawback to this one is when you're when you are using it, it does mean the opponent can still do can still defend against attacks. So even though the hit is guaranteed to land, they are still free to guard against it. And of course, upon being attacked or when the ailment does wear off, they are back to, and they are free to continue fighting as they were before. Um, but uh, but across the board, Pepper Cat is very speedy, so if you're looking for a very solid female-based leg, um, look no further than Pepper Cat's as she has a very high natural base speed, and that ability of Spearhead only feeds into that even more so. So if you are if so this honestly makes putting uh, makes putting use of a ailment base fighter much easier to build and much easier to make use of. Helping you guarantee more more or less the fact that you're going to outrun most of the enemies on the field Or if not, you're gonna come really darn close to doing so as a pure set score I would rate pepper cat by herself a relatively solid 6.5 out of 10 She does not have bad armor bad base power or anything like that The issue however is the fact that both of her arms are the exact same element Which does kind of tie into the redundancy argument more or less as the, once an opponent has been shocked and paralyzed in place you generally don't want to touch them as you generally want to keep them in place to buy yourself that extra time and typically that usually that usually does give you a full turn so basically a, your cooldown phase and then your heat phase essentially to buy yourself that extra moment to either cripple them before they have a chance to do anything or get yourself some extra slack to take to pick off someone else who's being particularly annoying in this case however because shock is on both arms once all three opponents have been shocked and paralyzed, that does kind of hurt Pepper Cat's overall viability, as now she's kind of stuck there doing nothing until someone else can come in and unshock and you know and unparalyze them, so she can go back and paralyze them again. Especially given the fact that shock is cannot be stacked on itself, so there really does come no use to paralyzing someone and then paralyzing them again right afterwards. As mixed parts, on the other hand, I would rate Pepper Cat much higher at a 7.5 out of 10 minimum for the reasons stated above. Shock is a fantastic status ailment to make use of on just about any team build that, re that needs some kind of ailment on the team. Further, and if you can guarantee that the opponent is not using stat cleanse in any way in particular, as that's that's the biggest weakness of paralyzed ailments, is stat cleanse. Her legs are very fast, like I mentioned, and she does have relatively solid armor across the board in addition. And on top of that, stealth also is very good to make use of too, especially if you want to make your ailment fighter particularly sneaky in this case, to guarantee that if a defender is going to get in your way, you're at least going to guarantee at the minimum that whoever you're going to target also has to suffer with you.